First up, while a record number of people have voted in the district council elections in Hong Kong, as per official data, more than 1.9 million voters have cast their vote until this afternoon. This is a big jump from the 1.47 million votes polled in the last elections four years ago. The council elections is the first to be held in the special administrative region since protests broke out in June. It is being viewed as a parameter of support for the chief executive Carrie Lam. It has been speculated that the anger against the government is a factor behind the record voter turnout. Brutal attacks on candidates in the lead up to the polls has further angered voters. It is the first time that all 452 seats in the 18 district councils are being contested for one for 1,104 candidates uh, also contesting the election. However, glaring absence from the ballot paper is student leader Joshua Wong. Wong was barred from contesting after he was accused of violating Hong Kong's basic laws. Polling stations opened at 7.30 a.m. local time and heightened security cover was provided. Uh, polling will close at 10.30 p.m. tonight. Hong Kong's uh, former and first chief executive, Tung Chi Wa, cast his vote this morning. He praised the Hong Kong residents for, staying, for saying no to violence. He hoped that the district election could be the first step towards bringing back social peace in the region. <laughs> Mansansi 希望選舉之後,社會各方面能夠共同努力,增進,使到香港的社會回復平靜,重新出發. So why is this election important for Hong Kong? Well, at the moment, district councils are the only wholly democratic administrative body in the territory for the protesters and democratically leaning voters. Winning a larger share of seats will give them leverage over electing a uh, chief executive who is chosen by a small body of Beijing loyalists currently. District councils are a very important partner of the Hong Kong SAR government in addressing district affairs, in promoting district interests and also in undertaking many district-based projects. I hereby pledge that the Hong Kong SAR government will continue to fully support the work of the district councils, provide more resources, and listen more attentively to the views and opinions expressed by the district council members on behalf of the local population. And remember, this is the first time Hong Kong has gone to polls after mass protests erupted. The councillors who are being voted for are the bridge to communicate between citizens and the government. Since our protest movement started from June, I urge more people around the world to stand with Hong Kong and more Hong Kongers should come out to vote. With the campaign season amid ongoing protests, it is being said that the current demonstrations will have an impact on the election results, the extent of which is uncertain at the moment.